this, but. Hello, everybody, and welcome to NFL Picks. I'm Drunk Farmer. Yay! Wow. One game was kind of ho hum. The other game, well, pissed off a lot of people, <laughs> including Cincinnati fans. Believe me, but I'll get that get to that in a minute. Um, San Francisco, plain and simple. They just ran out of quarterbacks. Yeah. If you didn't watch the game, when Brock Purdy, he went down in the first quarter, apparently had an elbow injury. San Francisco brought in their backup quarterback. He was kind of moving the ball. But unfortunately, he hit his head on the turf, and he left the game and never came back. I'm suspecting... Concussion protocol? More or less, San Francisco just couldn't get anything going. They brought in Brock Purdy. He couldn't do anything because of his elbow. He could barely throw a short pass. Couldn't throw the long pass. Um, San Francisco just ran out of options, pretty much. And uh, unfortunately, the Eagles took advantage of that, and they pretty much just dominated San Francisco. I thought, it, you know, I would, you know, if Brock Purdy was healthy, it might have been a probably a closer game. But unfortunately, well, that didn't happen. Uh, Jalen Hurd in the offense, they did everything what they were supposed to do. The Eagles defense played fierce at home. So... Yeah, it was an, it was kind of a whole hum game. But, you know, I'm sure San Francisco fans are feeling that feeling that hangover right now and they're probably just still sick to their stomachs, but uh you know, there's always next year San Francisco. And by the way, I think there will be a quarterback controversy in San Francisco next year. I'm just throwing that out there. But Congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles and their win. Now we move on to the next game. This is the game that pissed everybody off. This is the game that every wall on the internet was just fuming with people. Every People around the NFL had Cincinnati's back last night, including some Steeler fans. I saw that on some walls. Holy moly. There was a lot of pissed off people last night. It was because the Cincinnati Kansas City game. It was because and if you watched it, it was there was some officiating problems. Some poor officiating pretty much. Because I don't know, there were some calls in that game. I just wanted to go, well, wait, what? What was going on? Some people were saying, yes, NFL games are rigged. Some people were saying the rest were paid off. Yeah, it's always the usual BS. But <laughs> the way things have been going with officiating in the NFL this year, yeah, I, there's been a lot of pissed off people because let us face it, the NFL officiating this year has completely and absolutely and totally sucked. And it was evident against Kansas City and Cincinnati. But, you know, Kansas City fans will beg to differ. But that's just Kansas City fans. All in all, there were some bad calls. There was a missed call. The missed call was when less than two minutes left in the game, Cincinnati punted the ball to Kansas City. And the punt returned. The guy got a chunk of yards. The only reason why the guy got a chunk of yards, and if anybody recorded the game, go back into that sequence and see there was a block in the back, and apparently the officials missed it. Gee, how convenient. I saw that block in the back in real time. So then I went back, rewound it, went back, and sure enough, it was a block in the back, and no flag. Yeah, so if anybody recorded that, go back to that sequence, like I said, and you'll see it. Um, but what really, truly put the nail in the coffin for Cincinnati was the late hit out of bounds. That was legit. 
Um, he did try to stop, but unfortunately, his forearm went into Patrick Mahomes' back just enough to draw a flag. And the way they protect quarterbacks in the NFL and college football these days, yeah, you're going to get a flag every time. He tried to stop his momentum, but it, in the referee's eye, and he did, he kind of did throw that forearm in the back a little bit. And unfortunately, that drew the flag, and that was the end of that because the next play, Kansas City kicked the field goal and won a trip to the Super Bowl. Basically, Kansas City won on penalties. They barely beat Cincinnati. Barely. But I knew this game was going to be close. I knew this game was going to be filled with drama, controversy, whatever. And it was. I was right on that. But Kansas City won. Cincinnati fans were pissed, and a lot of also a lot of NFL fans were pissed. And like I said, they expressed their feelings on the interweb last night after the game. And uh, wow, <laughs> yeah, I, I I just can't express the words for how many how many people were really pissed. They were. I mean, it was a free for all to tell you the truth. But all in all, Kansas City won. I mean, you can't change the fact that Kansas City versus Philly, excuse me, in the Super Bowl, in the desert. I wonder how the officiating is going to be during the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's going to be a question mark. But I know this game is going to be filled with drama. I know this game is going to be filled with controversy. And because it's Kansas City. It's the, you know, it's Kansas City. Because every... It seems like every big game that Kansas City plays, there's always some type of controversy. I'm just saying. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But who am I going to pick? Who am I going to pick? Hmm. That is the question. Well, I'm going to get this over with because I'm not going to wait for two freaking weeks. I'm going to pick Philadelphia over Kansas City. The reason why is I think Philadelphia's got a, I think Philadelphia's that good. I think they're a little bit better in Kansas City. I think their defense is a little bit better in Kansas City's. I think Jalen Hurd is good. I think if he starts running around and doing what Jalen Hurd does, um, it's going to be a close. It, Philadelphia could win this game. It's going to be a close game. Um, I don't think he'll cover the point spread. Um, it all depends how the officiating is in the Super Bowl. <laughs> like I said, there's a question mark. But I'm picking Philadelphia over Kansas City. So there you go. And just remember, everybody, I'm not a professional. I'm only a fan. Like, share, subscribe. If you got a comment, comment put it in the comment box below. How do you feel about what happened last night? I'm sure some people, maybe some people, not still not done fuming about it, which I don't blame you. So I will see you after the Super Bowl game, and I'll give you my view or my rant about the Super Bowl. Until then, everyone, if anything else comes up, I am Drunk Farmer. This has been NFL Picks. Thank you for watching the show. I will see you in a couple of weeks. Or unless something else comes up. You never know. So long.